All right, this next part, we're still on page 46. We're gonna talk about the smooth tool, which is a pretty cool feature, especially if you're not really good at drawing straight and curved lines with the pencil tool. We're gonna to draw one of these tulips here. In Illustrator, we're gonna create another 300 by 300 pixel. So file new, and we're gonna call this tulip, T-U-L-I-P. Width and height is 300. Click OK. According to the directions, we're going to draw a tulip similar to the one shown to the far left and use the drawing skills learned from the previous exercise. I got the pencil tool, which is N, the shortcut for it. And I'm going to draw the top bulb of the tulip. So I'm going to start with like a open U shape, go around and do like a upside down W. Hold down Option and close. Now that's pretty, uh, not as pretty as I'd like it to look, but it, it'll work. I'm going to hold down command and click in the white to deselect that bulb. And then I'm going to click and drag down. And I got the bottom of the tulip. Now what I want you to see is we're going to talk about the smooth tool for a second. The smooth tool shares a space with the pencil tool. But watch what happens when I retrace over this stem. It kind of cleans up that curve a little bit. Now I'm going to hold down command and click on this bulb and I'm going to use a smooth tool to smooth that bulb out. Kind of makes it a little bit more cleaner. There. I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to draw some leaves. So I need to get back to the pencil tool and I'm going to draw a curve here. and draw the middle of the leaf. Oh, command Z. I need to hold down Command, deselect. And then I'm going to draw another leaf here. I keep forgetting to deselect. All right, I'm going to get that smooth tool out again and clean that up a little bit. In order to smooth something out, it has to be selected. So I got that leaf and that leaf. Now I'm going to get the selection tool and I'm going to color it green. I'm not the middle part, the back part. And I'm going to select that one. Color it green. Now you can choose what color tulip you want. I'm just going to go with yellow this time. There you go. Now if you want to give it more of a three-dimensional look, select it and go to gradient and we'll choose a linear gradient. Replace that black with a green. Click on that one. There you go. So I have a pretty tulip. Now I could even give that one a uh, gradient. There you go. So there is the tulip. Now be sure that you use a smooth tool to smooth things up. So when you're done, you're going to save it. So you're going to go file, save as, go to your 3A underscore last name, first initial underscore illustrator, or whatever period you're in, tulip.ai, and save. So save as tulip.ai, and save. And then OK. That is it. You just close it and let's get ready for the next activity. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.